Hi guys! This is part two of my Rubik's Cube solving tutorial. Uh, this video is going to solve the middle layer, which is phase two in my blog. Uh, that's this one right in the middle. And my last video was solving the top layer, which is this one. So if you haven't watched that one yet, you might want to go back and check it out and catch up. So the middle layer is going to be probably the easiest one in the three-step Rubik's Cube solving process. Uh, that's because you're only going to really have to solve for four pieces. The first thing you do is twist the already solved top layer around until these three adjacent sides match with the color side of the cube that they go with. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, you can tell which side is which based on which cube is in the middle. So for example, this has red in the middle, that means that this is going to be the red side once it's solved. The center cubes don't move, so that's how you can always tell which side is which. So I'm going to twist that around, and now you can see that my three red colors now match on the red side. So you should have the same T-shape on all sides of the cube. So the reason why this phase is a little bit easier is because we only have to solve these corner pieces. So first, let's start with uh, just solving this green and red side. So the first thing you want to do, just like before, you're going to look around the cube and find where that two-sided green and red piece is. On mine, it's down here in the bottom of the cube. So I like to just twist it around and line it up with where it needs to go. So I'm going to just twist this whole bottom layer around. So this is the piece, and it needs to be up here. So you want to put it aligned with the same color side that is currently facing upright. So my piece is green on the top and then red on the bottom. So I want the green side over here matching up with the green um, panel of the cube. And then what you're going to do is twist it away from the opposite color. So the red is on bottom, that's on my right side of the cube. So you're going to twist the whole bottom side one turn away from the red. Pull down this side that has this missing cube. We're going to pull that down. And then put the bottom panel back and just twist it back once exactly to where it was before. You'll put up the right panel, now with one white piece missing. And now you'll notice that the white piece that goes on top has the correct red and green pieces lined up with each other. So that's a good sign. You're going to move it one more turn to the right. And then we're going to turn so that the red side is kind of in front now. And pull the left side down in front. And then push the bottom panel back once. And that's how you get uh, this piece into that spot without messing up any of the other pieces that we've already solved on these other sides. So that's how you really solve a piece that has um, the cube, the missing piece along the bottom of the cube. Here's one where um, the piece is in the middle layer of the cube instead of on the bottom, which is where we pulled the last one. So the way that you get this part solved, let's say I'm trying to get this green and orange piece solved, and it needs to go over here, but it's over here, stuck between these two. You repeat the exact same steps as you do when you're pulling it off the bottom. You just use any random piece you want as a placeholder to get that one out, and then you start from the beginning and put it in the right place. So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and use this green and yellow piece as just a, a placeholder as an example to get it in there. So we'll just move, move it off to the side, pull it down, same steps as before, and now the yellow and green piece is in there, and the green and orange piece that we were missing is now on the bottom layer, which makes it really easy to just line it up with the green side, twist it once away from the orange side, and then start solving with the same steps that we've already talked about. So now that one's solved. Let's go ahead and do this blue and red. On my cube, it's down here on the bottom layer. So I'm just going to twist it around. Because blue is upright, I'm going to put it on the blue side. Red is on the bottom, so I'm going to twist it away from the red side and follow the same step process. So now that one is solved, and we've got one left. So here's an example of a backwards piece. Uh, the orange is supposed to be on this side, and the blue is supposed to be on that side. So let's go ahead and follow the same steps as before. You just pull it out, put in any random piece so that we can twist it around and put it back in in the right position. So I'm just going to put this red and yellow piece in as a placeholder. I'm 
and then it should be down here on the bottom layer. Twist that around, and then you twist one away from the blue side. Follow the same steps. So now you have the entire middle layer solved. It's just those four pieces, not too complicated. Uh, stay tuned, and next we will walk through how to solve the bottom layer, which is yellow, um, and finish out the rest of the cube.